What's up guys, Tide Super Clean here and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on beat matching by ear and what I mean by that is you're going to be training your ears to differentiate between what is fast and what is slow between the two tracks and usually this is done in your headphones but for demonstration purposes I'm going to do it with both tracks playing over the speakers just so you can hear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the first track on the second channel which is Allegris and it's going to be at 126.6 BPM. The second track, which is on the first deck, is Funky Monday. And I'm going to be randomly moving the pitch fader around so you, I don't know what the BPM is. And generally, you're going to kind of know whether the track is fast or slow, dependent on the position of the pitch fader. So that's going to help you with the beat matching just by hearing. So let's go ahead and try it out. I'm going to move this pitch fader around, so I'm not going to know where exactly it's going to be and what BPM it is. Try it right there. Just go ahead. So, obviously it's kind of slow. tighter the more closer it is to the song BPM. Sounds pretty tight there. Oh, it's drifting. Training it here is to be able to tell the difference whether it's drifting, whether it's on beat. It's still drifting. So I had to uh, slow it down a little and adjust backwards. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what the BPMs are. 126.6. 126.5, so it's pretty close. So let's go ahead and try it again. Okay, so you know it's kind of fast.
Okay, so let's go ahead and check to see what the BPMs are. 122.4, 122.4. Perfect. So this is a really good exercise to help train not just your ears to be able to tell the difference on whether a song is fast or slow when beat matching with the other song, but it also teaches you to learn how to maneuver your hands around the equipment you're using. It's a really good exercise because you're not always going to be looking at your decks like this. You know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to stare at the decks when you're mixing because you're supposed to be using your ears. You're supposed to be scanning the crowd, looking at the energy level. And when you're looking at the crowd like that, you want to be able to still be able to beat match and all that without just staring like that or looking at the waveforms. But it's a great exercise and um, you can do this with vinyl too. It's actually a lot harder with vinyl because you don't have um, waveforms or anything to help you out, but it's a good exercise. If you found this uh, tutorial interesting, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought, if it helped you. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure you check out my link tree for all my social media links. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Aloha.